Good evening, fellow Nayakians. My name is Melissa Jackson, and I will be presenting the subject matter this evening, um, the church for our New Testament literature class. First, what is the church? The word church is rendered in the New Testament means an assembly or called out ones. The New Testament church is a body of believers who have been called out of the world by God to live as his people under the authority of Jesus Christ. In Ephesians 1 and 23, it says, And God placed all things under his feet and appointed him to be the head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness in him, and fills everything in every way. Who established the church? Um, Jesus the Christ, um, our Lord and Savior, uh, the Anointed One, um, the second person of the Trinity, Jesus is not only the founder of the church, but he is also the foundation of the church. Matthew 16, 18, Jesus says to Peter, And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. In 1 Corinthians 3 and 11, it says, For no one lay any other foundation than the one that has already been laid, which is Jesus Christ. From these passages, it's very obvious that Jesus is the builder, the founder, and the foundation of the New Testament church, and that he calls his, the church his church. Any church formed by someone or founded by someone else other than Christ is not Christ's church. When was the church established? The New Testament church was established in the city of Jerusalem on the day, the first day following, um, the first day of the Pentecost, following the resurrection of Christ in 33 AD. And you can find the reference to that in Acts 2. The prophets had long predicted the coming of the Messianic kingdom. Um, and we can find the references to that in Isaiah 2, um, verses 2 through 4, and Daniel 2 and 44. The kingdom was not a physical one, um, like the, the Jewish people were looking for in that day, um, but it was a spiritual kingdom. And we can find that in John 18 and 36 and was realized in the founding of the church by Jesus Christ. Who is the church? The founder of the home church movement in England said it best. The holiest moment in the church service is the moment when God's people, empowered by the Holy Spirit, strengthened by God's word and the fellowship of the believers, goes out of the church doors into the world to be the church. He said, we don't go to the church, but we are the church. The church, therefore, is not a place. It is not a building. It is not a location. And it is not a denomination. We, God's people, are who are in Christ Jesus, are the church. What are the purposes of the church? The purposes of the church are twofold. First, the church comes together or assembles for the, um, the purpose of bringing each member to spiritual maturity. Um, we can find that reference in Ephesians 4 and 13. The church reaches out, it scatters to spread the love of Christ and the gospel message to unbelievers in the world. And um, we can find that, um, um, that's Matthew 28, 18 through 20, which is the Great Commission. So the purpose of the church is to minister to believers and to unbelievers. The church, both in the universal and the local sense, is important because it is one of the main ways or vehicles through which God carries out his purposes on earth. The church is the body of Christ, his heart, his mouth, his hands and feet, reaching out to the world. And last but not least, the power of the church. The power of the church is the Holy Spirit. In Acts 1 and 8, just before Jesus ascended back to heaven, Jesus said to the apostles, But you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you should be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and all Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Also in Acts 2, 1 and 4, we find the Holy Spirit coming upon the apostles and their being empowered to preach the gospel in languages of all the people who had gathered in Jerusalem. As a result, the, part, the apostles' preachings 
people were pricked in their hearts and asked what must they do to be forgiven for their sins and to be saved. So that has been my um, presentation today um, in regards to the church. Um, it's a short presentation. Of course, this subject matter is very vast, it's very wide and very deep, but I just figured I would touch the surface of it. Um, thank you. Um, God bless you, and I hope this um, edifies you in some manner.